A polygon in AutoCAD LT is actually a closed polyline that consists of three or more sides of equal length. When you create a circumscribed polygon, you specify the number of sides, the center of the polygon, and a radius. Notice that when creating a circumscribed polygon, the polygon is created around the circle so that the midpoint of each side of the polygon is tangent to the circle. AutoCAD LT does not actually create the circle. It simply uses that radius to calculate the size of the polygon. To create a polygon, expand the Rectangle tool in the Draw panel on the Home ribbon and click the Polygon tool. Notice that whichever tool you used last floats to the top of this button. AutoCAD LT first prompts you to enter the number of sides. The minimum number of sides is 3 and the maximum is 1024. Remember that if you're ever not sure what the allowable values are when AutoCAD LT prompts you, simply type a question mark and press Enter. Let's create a pentagon an equilateral polygon with five sides. I'll type the number 5 and then press Enter. AutoCAD LT prompts us to specify the center of the polygon. I'll click to select a point. Next, AutoCAD LT asks how we want to specify the polygon. Notice that the inscribed method is the default. To create a circumscribed polygon, select the Circumscribed option. Finally, AutoCAD LT prompts me for the radius of the circle. Notice that the cursor is attached to the midpoint of a side of the polygon, because with the circumscribed method, the midpoint of each side will be tangent to the imaginary circle whose radius I'm about to specify. If I click to select a point, that point will also control the location and orientation of the polygon. If I type a value, however, and in this case I'll type 3, and then press Enter, Notice that the base of the polygon is aligned parallel to the x-axis. This polygon is created as a closed polyline. If I move the cursor over the object, you can see that it has been created as a single polyline object.